I will show you guys. So this is what a wig looks like. another vlog today's friday and i almost did not start today's vlog but then i was like eh, i cannot have gone away for over you know two months and then come back and not be consistent so it's just going to be a day vlog which is today i'm getting ready oh by the way you guys yes our hair has been done don't worry i'll give you guys um, a good 360 degrees when I get in the car because I'm on my way to town right now I've got a lot of things to do and I'm going to bring you guys along with me so first thing I've got some returns to do so I'll do that then I want to go do my lashes you guys after that I know just a lot of errands let's just go because there's no time again okay guys so i'm at my very first location i still haven't gotten a car mount so don't judge me <laughs> yeah i'm at my very first location i was just listening to the radio and o'brien was talking about people that can't cook and he was wondering what they eat you know like honestly i can't even wrap my head around this if you can't cook say you're married you and your partner you can't cook and you have children what do your kids eat do you have to and I don't understand the whole I can't cook. Like, bro, you can cook if you want to. Go on YouTube and like, or maybe I'm just, cause I've been cooking, you know, ever since like I'm the first child of my family. So you know that I've been cooking, but honestly it's madness, you know, to have people that can't cook. Cause he was um, saying something about how he went to his friend's place and um they, they told him that he could stop over for dinner and he went and guess what they were having for dinner, he said. <laughs> you know oven free this freezed um pizza and chips that's what they were having for dinner and i'm like mm, okay oh. you know but it's just a, a very interesting conversation i i can't relate to be honest i can't relate with not being able to cook but yeah you guys you, you won't believe the time is 12 20 and <laughs> i'm just on my first errand and i need to be home like 1 30 because i have not even made lunch and the kids will be back from school at three so yeah it's, it's manic and i want to do my brows i will see if i can find somewhere where i can do my brows around this area the thing is i also have my camera i want to take my camera to the repairer let me show you guys you know this is my camera honestly i'm just tired i don't know what happened to my camera my daughter was pressing the camera and then next thing it comes on so it's not like it's not coming on it comes on it comes on but it won't, if I press the record and it will not record. I don't know. It can take pictures, but it won't record. So I need to give that to the repairer so they'll have a look at it. And honestly, I need to get car mount because this style of vlogging is the ghetto. But let's go do the return. So a tin of, tomato, a tin of tomatoes, <laughs> a tin of tomatoes and a sprinkle of mozzarella. Yeah. That's and maybe nice. some chicken thrown in there. You're fine. What are you, what are you talking about? It. This is this is not kind of basic. Yeah, I think you might be slightly gilded. And how often do they get something straight out of the freezer into the oven or the or the or the or, 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 or the frying pan? Do I have to answer that question? Yeah, you see, because you're slightly you're you're slightly <sighs> not being completely honest with me, are you? That's the the more um, normal. So like a frozen pizza or oven tips and fish fingers. Associate it with something negative, even though you love eating the food. Yes, exactly. I salute your honesty, um, or at least however much honesty uh, you have actually just brought to the program. Um, but nonetheless, I, 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 I she don't loves get to it. eat the food, but she doesn't like to, to cook the food. So just what eating. I was saying, you I was wondering, you know, people then. that don't like to cook, what do they? How do they feed their children? And this woman just called, you know, she said, oh, maybe pasta, she'll boil pasta and then she'll open a tin of, um, you know, cook, already cooked tomato sauce and pour it on top and then put some cheese. I mean, it's, it's not bad really, you know, but then it would be nice to just quickly rustle up a stew and, you know, give the kids some home cooked meal. Now you can actually tell what went into the meal. Do you understand? But I mean, and then most days, you know, they do the, I mean, I also give my children, 
don't get me wrong i give the kids um you know oven baked food sometimes they eat pizza and i'll make some salad to go sometimes you know we do that but then i can cook that's the most important thing and like most days of the week i rustle up something for them to cook i don't have to cook every day i can make a, a lot of stew put in the fridge and make soup put in the fridge you know all those kind of things i mean i don't i know i understand you know people hating cooking like this lady now she said her mom cooked every day so she kind of hated it fair enough but then are you going to like punish yourself because anyways um you guys let me let me run i'm using my front camera so the audio might be affected honestly i need to hurry up and set my camera out i've ended up wasting the whole day at the post office because I went there and then they said I needed to have printed it all but then they said no print it's so annoying now the time is 106 barely had enough time to do anything just going to see if I can find somewhere where I can do my lashes here and I would have achieved something you get Eyelashes tensions. No, All right, thank you. you. Guys, see, here. I refuse to be defeated. Honestly, it's, it's um, it's quite sad that everything I came out to do. Not everything, but most of the things I came out to do today I was quite unable to do them. Yeah, right now I'm in a trip store. I'm like, let me just look around, see if I can find anything that will make it worth worth the while. Look at this. I like it. Bag, so cute. I really love it, but unfortunately, I don't know where I'm carrying a bag like this because I'm not working on anything. But it's such a cute bag. Twelve pounds, and it's due on you guys. Look, I found this um shorts. I like the color. That was going to be my size. Yay! It's my size. I love it. It's perfect for for summer, and it's a size twelve, you guys. How am I able to fit into a size twelve? <laughs> Unbelievable. Damn, you guys. This guy is so hot. Guys, remember when I was at the trip store and I tried this on? Oh my goodness. Do you know? I thought that this was, you know, like normal three five pounds thrift store this was 12 pounds why and you're saying because it's brand new 25 29 pounds so it's like 30 pounds and they just have it. why thrift stores why why are you guys so expensive these days anyways i still bought it because i like the color and i like i like the style of it <laughs> so i still got it but damn 12 pounds are you guys for real Anyway, I also like this top. Again, came, the tag is still on and it was three pounds. At least this one makes sense, you get. Yeah, you guys know I like all these damn small, small tops. So, anyway, you guys, I need to go home and cook. I'm going to be making fish and lentils. That's what I'm going to, we're going to be having. Fish, lentils, and um, uh, what's this thing called? broccoli stem broccoli the small one but you guys are going to see everything we'll probably cook together let's go hey guys so the girl is home now and cooking fish is ready you guys actually burns the fish a bit but <laughs> so the fish is ready i actually burnt it a bit but the thing is 
because I wanted it to cook fast, I didn't cover it, but still, it tastes really good, I promise. And I'm about to make my moi. I saw somebody do this. Instead of lentils, I went for my moi. So I saw someone do this on um, on Facebook. They actually use the casserole dish to make their moi. So I thought I would try the same thing. This one is too, this is too thick. I'll add some water. So what I've done is let me give you guys first so you can see what I've done. So what I've done essentially is to just, um, I oiled the side of the plate so that the mama doesn't stick on and then in here I blended, you know, some pepper mix, I put some maggi, I'm going to add some salt now, I, I put some seasoning, seasoning not maggi, it's seasoning and I'm going to put some salt and mix it all together. Honestly, my mind doesn't really need too much, too much celery. So, just gonna add some for you all. Right, so I'm gonna let that cook. So um, this is the broccoli stem. I was chopping my mouth to tell you guys about earlier. So while the woman is cooking, I'm just going to warm this up. Then I'm going to get the girls from school. So I need to get this ready before they come back. So you guys, whilst I cook, eh, let's have a quick test. 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 Let's cook and chat. So, <laughs> there's this trending video on Twitter. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it. This college graduation um, video, I think it was a Catholic school. And they got this footballer to come and give a speech. These are people that have just graduated from university, not even college. You know, people that are ready to go into their careers and all of that. And this man comes, you know, and he has a message especially for the women and he's like i know you've been fed so many you know lies and bullocks but uh, as you guys graduate some of you are going to go on to become career women but i want you women to understand that your greatest achievement in life is to become mothers and become homemakers you know to go on and give birth to children and nurture and build your home it's not to be it's not career yes for those of you who want to pursue career but your greatest achievement as a woman is to become mothers and to build your homes literally it's not like there's anything wrong with what he has said obviously that's not the greatest achievement of, of a woman it's great as a woman to, you know it's wonderful nobody can deny the fact that you know being a mother you know being a homemaker is an awesome thing but to say that that is the greatest achievement of a woman bro and guess what <laughs> this was in a catholic um, school by the way for the catholic school the nuns are not i'm not finding it funny because the nuns are like how can you say that you know the greatest achievement of a woman is to become a homemaker what about us nuns you know that have dedicated our lives to christ are you saying that you know we are we are failed in our assignment as women men these days are just becoming crazy they are biting more than they can choose from me. obviously obviously not all men you know we still have some reasonable and sensible men because i know that's what you are going to come for me obviously not all men but men your gender is crazy your gender is running what mad because how can you go to a women's graduation ceremony and basically tell them that they have wasted all this time for nothing because their main goal their main role in life is to be mothers to be homemakers because <laughs> like oh god oh god god help us 
Anyway, you know, there's been a lot of um, a lot of uh, what's criticism, you know, and I'm happy that there's also criticism coming from the church, you know. But it's just crazy. The audacity of this man. And seriously, is that the right place and time to give that kind of speech, bro? Anyway, you guys, these kids will be back from school soon. <laughs> Let me concentrate properly and you know cook this food. And I'll chat with you guys soon. This vlog is just all about my day today, okay? So every silly thought that pops into my head we are going to be chatting about it I hope you guys can see me <laughs> this whole you know vlogging without seeing yourself this much anyway I'm about to um actually I'm even just done I want to put this potato in the air fryer because it's going to cook faster I'll show you guys what my mama looks like when it's ready and <laughs> They're just abusing themselves back and forth. <laughs> Happy Friday guys. I told you guys I was going to show you guys my hair and then I ended up not even showing you guys. So this is what a wig looks like. Look at that bundle. Bundle. <laughs> you guys I'm obsessed with this hair. It's funny because it's funny that I'm obsessed with this hair because really I went through a phase for the last um the last three years in fact for for the for all these years you know i went through this phase where i'm like mm, i just want to wear my natural hair i just want to wear my hair i don't want to wear all this european hair you know i'm gonna be proud of my natural hair and then look at me now in this super long bundle this bundle gets to my bone guys look at that it gets to my bone so you know it's like <laughs> the contrast <laughs> the flip-flop the flip-flop is not here but i mean it is what it is i just i just you know kind of fancy this style of hair and i'm having it i'm not even going to lie like even now i'm tired like yeah i went carry for a while because obviously i spent some coins on it but um yeah so my sister actually sells this hair in case anybody's interested shoot me a dm she sells the hair it's beautiful like look at that look 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 but anyway like i said i'm even tired like i want braids i want this boho braids that you do with natural hair that's the hair that's hungry me and that's my summer hair i'm going to buy human hair i use it to you know braid my hair and that is going to be my summer hair but yeah for now i'm gonna rock this create a lot of content with it i actually really like the hair like who says by the way who says black people cannot have straight hair hmm? i've seen black girls you know when they do that silk press it gives this what are you talking about hmm? Hmm? <laughs> anyway you guys so um by the way guys hmm have you seen that Didi's the video? The Didi's video that leaked. Guys, I am shook. I'm shook it. Wow. Honestly, that babe went through hell. And I remember when that court case came out, you know, people were like, oh, why didn't she speak up? Why didn't she say something? I'm not going to lie. I was also one of the people that were kind of like side-eyeing her. Even though I didn't say anything, but I was like, hmm. 
how come she didn't say anything all this while maybe she just wanted money why did she withdraw the case and blah 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 but then you know somebody says something that even if she wanted money she she deserves it like whatever so for me i was kind of you know um ambivalent about that dd is a monster and i hope and pray that he rots in hell for everything that he has done to that girl as well as to everybody that he has you know dehumanized and you know treated so badly like gosh it's horrible you know you guys um i'm gonna end the vlog here i need to go run bath water for this kid give them a bath and then my husband and i can chill for the night so yes that is the vlog i'm so happy that i was able to vlog and share something with you guys this sunday we're going to be much more intentional next week all right love you guys bye don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please guys it helps with the algorithm and also subscribe if this is your first time here and please excuse my swollen eyes yeah you go she's been drinking she's been drinking <laughs>